architecture and politics are sharing um, some common uh, values. They both have to do with space. Any kind of political activity or commitment has a special result. Being here, I think uh, it's not so bad to use the term Meteorotopia because uh, for me it's like to, uh, well, to go back to a past who was very dramatic uh, and uh, uh, in a certain way it's, I think it's really uh, great to uh, go back and try to re-elaborate all what's happening here. And uh, Meteorotopia means also that uh, this is what's happened, but I knew that uh, uh, if we probably work in a different way, the future that being different from one that has been realized. So heterotopia means also that uh, we have different futures in our present. So it's up to us. It's uh, so great to see you all here. This is something, it's not the, the G8, it's not the G30, probably the G123. Yeah. And uh, so it's a demonstration of how much individuality should play a crucial role in the future of the planet. But at the same time, you are, uh, you can see, representing a, a bunch of uh, very important countries for the future of the planet. So my, my question is to ask you, how could you represent the future of the planet? Which kind of metaphor, which kind of uh, reference uh, you would love to use in order to represent real view of the future of the planet? Desert. People. Potential. Networks, community, a mess, dialogue, cooperation, artificial intelligence, symphony, heterotopia. <laughs>